Hey guys, hope you all have been well. Welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a requested one where I talk about myself. <sighs> Awkward. I will be answering questions about myself that I get pretty frequently and then just some fun facts as I've been requested to do a get to know me video. I almost said get ready with me. Let's get on with facts about me. First question that I normally get is the where are you from, what are you type of question. Now I did do a 23andMe video. I can link it down below if you like, let me know. But uh, that doesn't really say much about like my culture. I am from the Northern Mariana Islands, specifically the island of Saipan. And we are a group of islands in the Pacific Ocean and the people and the language that we speak is called Chamorro. No, I am not fluent in speaking it, but I will say that I'm pretty darn good in understanding. So normally, like people would speak to me in Chamorro and then I would usually respond in English. And, I'm, and if I'm feeling feisty, I might give them like, at best an intermediate answer. The language is very heavily influenced by Spanish, the Spanish language. The counting system is the same. There might be a letter or two off, but it, I mean, pretty much the same. And then in addition to that, there are a few bits and pieces of Japanese in our language, as well as just native words that are very, very much a part of our long, long ancestors, far, far away. I know it might be interesting for some people to uh, hear what my language sounds like, but uh, the only thing that I'm confident in doing is singing the cinema anthem. And well, another fun fact, I can't sing, so I don't know what else I can say. Oh, I know what I can say. I can say the Prinimeti. Here we go. Hand over heart. Prinimeti. Manhula tu fiet gi papa i banderahu, no te marianas na bai hu togui todu i nenasinyahu para bai hu protehi zan defendi i hi nengi, i kotura, i linguahi, i airi hanum zan i tanu. I rin shaku de retsu gi nenas du us tata para todu i nashon samoru zan karolinian. Pago zan para todu i tempo. Amen. You may be seated. Other questions that I get has to deal with my lips for some reason. I think it's because I do a lot of or had done a lot of uh, lip swatch videos and people, you know, you get up close to my face and you see all of this. But no, I did not get uh, fillers on my lips. This is just, this is just my lips I get from my dad. Thanks, dad. I also get requests to do ASMR videos, which I find very, very funny. Um, I, one of the videos that I attempted to film last week that did not end up very well was an ASMR video. I'm going to do an ASMR video, just one, just to do the video. I love ASMR, but I don't see myself doing it because I, the thought of it makes me very nervous. I can't, I can't just, I can't be like that on camera. But for those of you who for some reason enjoy my voice or would like to see me do ASMR, I will make one video for you. Be on the lookout. So let's get into some facts about me. If anything pops up in terms of the questions that I normally get, then I will obviously bring it up. But for right now, those are pretty much the main questions that I get, particularly that first question. First fun fact is that I am an only girl. I have three brothers, one older and two younger and uh, I love it. Yes, princess for life. I will have a lot of food related facts about me because food is my life. It is, besides my family and friends, it is probably bringing me the most joy into my life. I love food so much. I'm gonna eat sushi tomorrow because tomorrow's my treat day. I'm gonna eat a treat after my weigh-in and Pilates. Things that I cannot stand eating. I'm not the type of person not to try food, but I really don't like these things. Don't like celery. I don't like liver. I do not like raw potato, like that raw potato taste, whether it's baked or whether it's a chip. If it doesn't have additional seasoning, I don't like it. Burgers. I don't like beef patties. I've talked about it before. 
Uh, I just don't. I don't like it. It tastes weird. And bitter melon. If you like bitter melon, I applaud you. I hear it's great for your body, but <laughs> my body don't like it. I like bean sprouts cooked, but not raw. And I like carrots raw, but not cooked. My top three fruits are pineapple, mango, and lychee. All tropical varieties. Let's cut with the food for now. I'm pretty sure something else will come up, but... Oh, I have a good one for food. When I go to a buffet, 95% of the time, uh, maybe 90, 90%. I will not go to the like dessert section. I would much rather spend all my hunger in the entree section and then not eat dessert. If they have a soft serve machine and a fruit section, I like to eat those together. But if we're talking like pies and cakes and all of those things, yeah. I don't need them. Fun fact about my name is that I wasn't supposed to be Annabelle. My name was originally supposed to be Megan. I am named after my grandmother and then my mom just tacked on Belle at the end. Who knows? And my mom would call me Anna Campana sometimes because Anna, Anna, and Campana is Belle. I have always had this thing with like being obsessed with certain things and uh, <laughs> two of the biggest ones. The first one was Hansen. I was so into Hansen. And then the second one, probably the most of all, like all my obsessions, this was, this was the big one. Oh my goodness, I wonder if I can find my NSYNC stuff. No, I'm actually doing a get ready with me on NSYNC alone. So I'm going to like rummage through my old cabinet where I stored all my NSYNC stuff. And we're gonna look at, we're gonna look at it but I was obsessed with NSYNC slash Justin Timberlake. He was supposed to be my husband, but he didn't know it, so he married Jessica Biel. Just saying. I have a very close connection and love for baseball. I know it's not the most favorite of like the top sports, but I literally love baseball. I love watching baseball. I am a Houston Astros fan, always. Take it back. We're gonna take it back. I hope we take it back. Please, please, let's take it back. Not gonna lie though, the Sox killed it last season. They, ki they killed it, killed. Although I love watching baseball, my favorite sport to do has to be swimming. It is the most relaxing form of exercise. I mean, yoga and Pilates are pretty close, but just it's like you're you're weightless, you know, but you're, you're struggling, but it's a good struggle and you're not really sweating, which brings me into my next fact. And my mom told me about this way back when I was young. I, I don't know if she's kind of like superstitious in the sense that what you do when you're pregnant can can speak something of how the baby turns out. So my mom, when she was pregnant with me, had an obsession with fish, particularly goldfish. And so she mentioned that it started with a little tank and then it grew into a big aquarium. And then my mom was still not satisfied. So she, <laughs> she built a pond outside of our house, but she also had her hand in it. She wanted it to look a certain way. And so my mom built a pond for some goldfish and my mom believes that is why I am a good swimmer. I ain't no Michael Phelps but she always wondered how I knew how to swim because I no one ever taught me how to swim. I just I just swam and I'm, I'm not horrible at it. Let's just leave it there. The only famous people that I've ever met was the Pussycat Dolls. Pussycat? What? Pussycat Dolls. I should not have stressed that word. And Chris Brown, I met him. I won a contest to meet him and we made that poster the night before. What you got? Oh my goodness, my lashes are lifting. Let's fix this. Some of my food fact, my favorite food in the whole world is sushi. And not really. I mean, I can eat like the traditional sushi, but I like me some sauces and all of that stuff. Tastes, tastes delicious. I drink about 160 to 200 ounces of water every day. So this is my flask. Look, you see this? <laughs> I hate the hospital. 
I know like no one actually likes going to the hospital. I, if you do, then, but I really don't like it. Like I really don't like the hospital. And I think the fear really kicked in full gear when I went to the dentist as a kid and this dentist, I know I'm not gonna say his name, but I needed to get my tooth pulled and I told him, I said, hey, that anesthesia is not working. I'm already freaking out because I don't, I don't like being there. He's like, no, no, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. It's, it's fine. It's, it's going to be numb. Don't worry about it. He pulled my tooth and I felt everything. Screw you. Because of my injury and scoliosis and all of that wonderful stuff. But because of that, I stretch every single morning anywhere from 20 to 30 minutes. Every single morning. And for some odd reason, every time I see a doctor regarding my back and they take x-rays or, you know, they see like they make me do certain exercises, they always ask if I, if I was a dancer. <laughs> I wish and I also baffled a neurologist with my MRI exam and he was shocked that I was as mobile and flexible as I was given my injury so good job Annabelle I did something right my worst subject in school was social studies facts just don't stick in my head I don't know why I don't know presidents I'm not good with dates and wars and economics and all of those things I just I don't uh, I'm interested in it to a certain extent, but it just doesn't stick. I Science sticks in my head better than it does social studies. Not to say I'm great with science, but I do better in science than I do in social studies. In college, the only C that I ever got. What class was it? It was a social studies related class. I just don't understand. I don't understand it. I was very shy as a kid. I cried in the fifth grade in front of my class because I refused to do a presentation on, we did like a uh, career day. You didn't go to school, you went somewhere, you know, make contact with them. And I went to a radio station. I talked like twice on the, the mic thing. I bawled my eyes out. I was so, so scared. And then I ended up being a teacher where I practically do presentations all day. Like I'm in front of a group of 25 to 30 children every day. <laughs> Trust me, kids, they're quite the critics. They, t they tell it like it is, but I give it to them right back. I'm the boss. I know that some kids that either were my students or knew me from school, they do watch my videos. So if you're watching, Canaries, hello, thank you for watching. Stay in school, and if you graduated, don't make me feel that old. Love you. My biggest insecurity in terms of like physical features has to be my hair. My hair is very thin. I, anytime people ask, or sometimes I just bring it up randomly, this is not my hair. Like, I wish. I wish this was my hair. This is just a bunch of extensions put together to look like I've got great luscious hair, but I don't. I really wish I could just wake up one day and have like luscious hair. I mean, I love to have amazing hair, but I just, I really wish I just had more hair on my head. And it's crazy because my first passion in terms of cosmetology was hair. I never, I was into makeup, but nowhere near how obsessed I was with hair. I probably had every single like perm that you could have. I've colored my hair before. I even like just watching people play with their hair. Like that's how into it I am and not to have it. It's like, I think I'm pretty hairy on my arms. I mean, it's not like really hairy, but hairy enough. And then I see my head and it's like, what happened? I wish I can, you know, be that, was it Chia Pet? You know, just sprinkle and then like it sprouts with, with the plant. Wish it was hair. Wish I could do that. I am only five, two and a half. That half matters when you're this short. I have never been in snow. I've never seen it. I've never touched it. And I don't think I would do well in it at this point in my life because I get cold 
so quickly. I am the only person in my family that has never been to the Philippines. It's so sad because it looks so beautiful and I know I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat my heart out or I'm gonna eat it away into non-existence. I really want to go. Friends, let's go. I know we have plans to go to different places, but we really need to do Philippines together. The biggest thing on my bucket list right now is to travel. I would love to travel and see the world while I'm still like, you know, not to say that I wouldn't travel when I'm older, but I'm very like physically capable of traveling right now. I'm probably the healthiest in terms of like physical activity at this point in my life. However, I absolutely hate flying. It scares the bejesus out of me. I was I was a lot worse, but I'm not like the best travel buddy. I'm the type of person like don't talk to me. I'm praying to Jesus that I don't die. Don't talk to me. I'm just gonna stare out the window and just make sure that turbulence is not gonna happen even though you can't really predict that. I am a or I was a felon at a young age. My mom and I went into a stationery store and you know there's like little bins of knickknacks that you can just buy for like a quarter. I wanted this ring, this pink jumbo glitter ring that had ABC123 in like rainbow colors. And I asked my mom in probably the sweetest, most conniving way possible, Mom, can you please buy this for me? Nope. She wasn't having it. And so I slipped it into my pocket and I walked out of the store. Did I get caught? <laughs> sure did. <laughs> it's my mom, she knows everything. And so she made me go inside and return it. Okay, my camera is literally about to die, so I need to cut this video where it is. If I have any more facts, I will make a separate video later in the distant future. And if you have any questions, please ask me down below. And uh, I guess that'll be this video for now. If you guys like this video, go ahead and click the red subscribe button down below. I would really appreciate it. Again, check me out on Instagram if you're interested in all my makeup looks. First link in the description box down below. And until the next video, I hope you all are doing well, taking great care of yourselves. I will see you all next time. Bye guys. What was this? Gross. Stop. Bye.